Hey, it's Tom. So I'm back again, and I wanted to make a quick video about a very nifty piece of software. Um, before I show you the software, I do have to give a little bit of context. I am a IT professional. Um, I've been in the business for only so long now, but um, one of the biggest challenges that I have faced personally is that right when I was onboarding, I was told we do not keep patching for uh, software typically uh, very, very well maintained. So that was something for me to solve. And well, I came up with a solution that would use um, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager or Config MGR for those of you in IT. And alongside that, um, Patch My PC Enterprise, which allows you to integrate um, Patch My PC, it's called into SCCM or MECM. And it works fantastic. It works so well. Now, here's the thing. I honestly thought that was just a completely like enterprise grade only thing. I didn't think that there was anything like that, like an alternative or something like that for home usage besides like, you know, Winget, like the package manager. Um, I don't like Winget. I think they're trying, they tried a little too hard to be like Linux, right? With the terminal stuff. And they're doing that with sudo now. But um, one thing I did like is being able to update things quickly and easily. Um, I found a couple different pieces of software that kind of helped that with like Winget UI, I think it was called. And just those didn't satiate my need because all those would do is update the packages that you have installed like through Winget. Now, things that you install without a package manager, which uh, spoiler alert, a lot of packages inside of Windows or a lot of software in Windows doesn't actually have a package even distributed yet, um, especially the more um, obscure stuff. Um, and that's where this software comes into play. So I'm just going to actually cut. Um, I'm just going to cut to the chase now. Now I've explained the backstory. Um, this software is called Patch My PC, which you heard me say. This is the home updater version, though. And what this is, is it just it, all it is, is that it allows you to update your software um, quickly and basically with uniformity. So as you can see here, here's all of my software on my um, computer here. With a single click of a button, I updated all of these pieces of software because everything was out of date. You click Start Updater, and boom, it just it just starts working. Now it shows I'm connecting to EA app and stuff like that. This one might not work. It didn't work for me last time, but I also did close out of it while it was trying to update. So there we go. Now we're up to date. Look at that. I'm going to close out of that. And then you can see Power Toys is already downloading its update too. Um... This thing is really useful, um, and another reason why I might start using this, and actually this might likely will be the title, is that um, this allows for you to install applications right from their catalog. This one did fail to update, which seems odd. It probably is because, I, if I recall correctly, Power Toys requires admin. I could be wrong, though. But... Another thing is their app library. So it, let's say I wanted any of these pieces of software. Let's say I wanted Angry IP Scanner. Click install. Boom, it's installing. And in a second here, it'll be done. And then I can use Angry IP Scanner. And it will stay patched the exact same way that I normally would if I just opened the app and says new update, right? So yeah, there it goes. And now it's installed. Now I can go over here and do Angry IP Scanner. And just like that, we have Angry IP Scanner on here. Um, and then let's say I want to get rid of it. Uh, Angry IP Scanner, uninstall app, run through the wizard, done. Now, I know you can do that with um, Windows, but if you're like me, I rebuke a lot of the Windows updates as of recently. I don't really care for them. I think they're um, kind of destructive to their uh, to their current whole environment. But that's a that would be a whole separate video. Another thing, though, that comes with this is let's say you want to get rid of a ton of software at the same time. What you can do is you can use the uninstaller, which allows you to uninstall many pieces of software all at the same time, right? Um, and then let's say you want to run an automated task for these to automatically patch. Well, you have a scheduler, so you can turn this on. You can save your schedule, and look at that. Now, every single time, every single um, every single day, actually, at 7 p.m. now for me, at, uh, my local time, it will scan my PC for updates to software. That doesn't sound like a big deal, 
but it really creates a lot of hassle when I have to go through each application and, you know, I open something up and I haven't used it in like three months. Right. And then all of a sudden you have to update this software right now. And it's like, you know, it just becomes annoying. And this really just solves that problem and frees up some, you know, few seconds of time that I would be spending. So now I just click this button and it instantly updates everything. I just, I love this system. It works so well. Um, so yeah, not sponsored, literally just from me professionally using it now, um, now using it at my home setup. And I kind of just wanted to make a video about it. Cause you know, I, I made that obsidian video a while back. Oh, that light theme is terrible though. Um, they also have command line options. Interesting. But yeah, I also made that obsidian video and I know I wanted to make more computer stuff. Um, and, you know, my last video, ironically enough, was on Linux and then or like Obsidian Git on Linux, but for all platforms. Now this is, you know, something completely different. But, you know, I just want to make informative content and share kind of a little bit of my knowledge to people. I just, you know, I'm sure there will be somebody out there that would really appreciate this because, you know, I definitely wish I had something like this years ago. Um, so yeah, I'm done with my rant anyway. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking your time to watch. So see you later guys. Bye.